Coffee with Chris and Kel. I'm Chris. And I'm Kel. And we have uh, not seen each other for a few weeks. I know. Hey, stranger. I What's know. up? Oh, you know. I barely recognized you. I know, right? <laughs> it's all the plastic surgery and the weight I lost and, you know. Right? Oh, yeah. I was like, am I at the right house? Right? <laughs> I was all glammed up when you got here. I mean. Well, when you said, well, let me know because I have to get ready. I was like, oh, snap. you got to get ready. No, please. <laughs> uh, ready for me is a shower. <laughs> Cleaning up the house, maybe, but right, yeah, no. <laughs> Anyhow, so what are you yeah. working on, Chris? Oh, oh, wait, it's not, it is not Taurus, Taurus still. still. <laughs> it is not. I've actually completed another one before. Uh, I did Fairy Tale Sleeping Beauty, oh. and I had a really hard time with some of these really? drills, um, especially the black, um, and they weren't sticking to the canvas very well i don't know if it's just because it's kind of old is a few you know it was it's an, old yeah it's, it's old an older kid. one anyway yeah. that was miserable but anyway this one is siamese teas and so far so good oh i remember um, when you got that one so cute. i know by mandy manzano i'm trying to complete all of the diamond paintings for the girls room okay so i'm almost there i only have this one and i think one more little mermaid oh, after wow and i was gonna do little mermaid but square and i said oh no let me just do another <laughs> round. i'm loving the rounds so yeah good um i'm working on okay so Lori, our friend, one fun diamond painter, she is currently working on her Great Lakes, uh, oops, canvas that she got from last or this year's retreat, mm -hmm. and um, she inspired me to work on mine. I have two large canvases at home going, and you know, I was just like, let me not drag this big old canvas over. Let me start on mine, and. Uh, we had a choice of square or round, and then uh, Tina, Tima from DP with Sparklers, she was at the retreat, and she was offering these awesome um, limited edition um, blinging up kits, if you will, specifically for these kits. So, you know me, I'm like, yes, please. So, I have my bling up set, and yeah, I'm ready to go, and then... This cover minder I got at the retreat, um, it was really cool. If um, for our door prize, I selected the gift card from DAC and with that, we got to pick a really nice cover minder. So this is my beautiful um, parrot. Is that a parrot? I am- Toucan. Toucan. I am not good with birds. Anyway, it's so blingy and beautiful. So I wanted to bring that. I have my sticker from the Great Lakes uh, retreat and I just put it on my Muni Maid tray set. And then um, Bella Arte Nicole, I put the sticker on this one. So yeah, that's what I'm working with in a round. I haven't done a round in a long time. Wow. So <laughs> yeah. Um, and this pen I got from Ashley and I'm using uh, glue dots in my single placer and in my multi placer I've been using this um, it's like a clear or opaque here it is um, I don't know what to call it but it's a cross between a I don't know it's like a wax I guess it's a white white clear opaque wax anyway wow <laughs> no one cares but anyhow, um, I just realized that I didn't put these, I didn't fill up these two containers. I went to grab, I'm like, oh, um, I don't know what, okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay. Anyway, so I'm, I'm not completely, I guess, kitted up like I thought. Well, I did something great this morning. I was cleaning up my, I changed my sheets. I was cleaning my room and I had uh, kitted down the Sleeping Beauty piece and I went to dump it in the trash and I dumped it all over the floor. <gasps> Oops. Yes. Yeah, good times. Wow. And it's still there because I didn't vacuum yet. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, good times. Oh, man. So, how was your birthday? We had birthdays last week. We did. October 6th is Kel's. October 7th is Chris's. Um... It was, it was low key. It was a Thursday. I went to work, you know, um, you know me, I don't really want to go anywhere. 
you know. Really? I, I could have gone out to dinner, but, you know, I was like, mm. So my husband went and picked up some food, and it was just very chill. And then on set, so what I really wanted to do for my birthday on that Sunday was uh, the Steelers, which is my team, and then my husband's team is the Bills for football. Uh, I wanted us to go watch our games because we were playing against each other, and that doesn't even happen every year because we're oh. in different divisions. So the plan was to gift. I know, right? I'm like somebody's going to be really happy at the end of this. Um, but I wanted to go out and watch it somewhere, you know, with the kids and everything. But that morning, I woke up and I did not feel well, like oh, all no. day. Um, yeah. The that night, sucks. and it's so funny because okay, just the other day I was watching Mindy's video, and she was saying how she's sorry for the low energy, but she didn't, you know, feel you know super great that day. And the night before, she had eaten Popeyes. Uh huh. Well, that's what I ate the night before. I felt sick. Weird. But I didn't know. I didn't know that then. You know, right. I just it, this was her recent video. Yeah. And I was like, that is really strange that, you know, I felt, you know, way worse than what she was saying she felt. But I was like, hmm, some huh. pattern here. And, well, and my husband ate a chicken sandwich to where I had a chicken strip. So mm -hmm. he didn't eat the very same thing I had. Mm -hmm. I So I can't really tell, you know, anyway, if it was that for right. sure. But I think it was. Well, I had gotten Kentucky Fried Chicken for my coworkers and mom, and I got Jason some. And he said the next day, which he hasn't been eating meat, he hadn't been eating oh. meat at the time. And then he ate Kentucky Fried Chicken, and he said he felt awful after. Mm. So yeah, yeah. Anywho, but it was it was very low key. So so you guys just stayed home to watch the game. Yeah, I mean, I was in bed at least till halftime, oh, and. Wow. Um, my husband and son were in the living room watching it and like I finally felt good enough to get up and go sit on the couch and watch some of it but by then it was already a blowout the Steelers were losing like three to 20 or something oh, and I was so like team lost. I was like you know what I'm good you're like I'm going back to bed <laughs> right exactly I don't need to watch this right <laughs> so wow. yeah Hmm. But I wasn't expecting much. How yeah. was your birthday? Uh, very low key as well. I didn't even leave the house. I took two days off of work. I took a, that Thursday and Sunday off, and I just stayed um, home. I didn't mm -hmm. even get on my pajamas. And wow. Jason got um, he got donuts, and he bought me some candy and a card and a blanket. And Aww. we just. I literally sat on the couch with mom and Jason till noon talking and uh, and then I diamond painted all day for days like I just did that and then Saturday uh, my girlfriend was gonna come over but uh, my oldest daughter was saying like let's just go to dinner like because she hadn't seen me either so she mm -hmm. said let's go to dinner so we met uh, for dinner and she picked up my the oldest granddaughter and um, then we went to Chuck E. Cheese so I spent my birthday at Chuck E. Cheese <laughs> Which is great. And you then, never felt younger, right? That's what I said. <laughs> um, and then it was so it was fun though. It was nice. Mm. And then uh, the next day, same thing. I just laid around, diamond painted, watched my shows. And uh, Monday, I was going back to work, so I ran errands and I took myself to lunch and I got oh. ice cream. And there you I go. Really, I really lived up the birthday thing. You know? Hey, you know, I mean, no, but it was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted to do. I didn't want to do anything. I was I was gonna plan like a hike and take my dog out of town and but then when it all came down to it I think I just needed to lay there and do nothing and rest yeah like, I didn't do laundry I didn't I didn't do anything wow I was just like screw it it's my weekend so wow. I laid and watched TV and diamond painted and it was great that's awesome yeah so that sounds like I yeah, figure I'll, I'll ideal have, <laughs> yeah I'll have a, a big birthday you know, if I make it to 50, then that'll be the If. Oh, well, I'm whatever. just saying, God will, and you never know. <laughs> but uh, that's when I plan to do something, and it's my 50th birthday. I want to take a trip or do something fun, you know? Yeah, yeah for sure. But okay. you got to celebrate those big ones, you know? I like celebrating big ones. The other years, I'm like, eh, whatever. Yeah. And I think I finally, because before, even though I'd be like, I don't care about the birthday, and then it would come around, and I'd be like, down. I'd be like, mm. you know? 
because of that expectation. I always have had of. that problem with expectation, you mm -hmm. know. But this year, I have to say, was the first birthday that I had none of that. That's awesome. And it felt so good. It was like liberating to like. I just didn't care. It's almost like it's another day, and it's, I don't. I didn't feel anything negative. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, as long as you didn't have to go to work, you were good, huh? <laughs> that, that was the gift in itself. Let right. me tell you. Yeah, my boss was like, oh, I'm sorry you're working on your birthday. I'm like, well, that's cool. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, I could have taken the day off if I wanted to. Yeah. But I need the money, and we have a lot going on. So yeah. it, it was fine. It, it's, you know, it is what it is. So Right. Yeah. And then um, Jason got a writing job. And that happened on my birthday. He yeah, found out. That's cool. So I was like, "Woo, birthday gift!" You know? Yeah, for <laughs> sure. So that was cool. That's something you've been waiting for for a while. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, but uh, it's very exciting. Mm. It's for HBO Max International, and he's the head writer, and so they're trying to compile the team, and you know, it's based on a book, so uh, it's you know, figuring out, breaking down the book and who they want to include and mm -hmm. what they want to tell, you know, what story they want to tell. So that's awesome. It's very cool though. Yeah. He's very excited. That's incredible. Yeah. So anyhow, um, but yeah, that's about it. Nothing else really going on. I don't think, uh, mom finally got word from the vascular surgeon. They're not going to do surgery. Okay. Uh, because she's just too high risk. So, yeah. um, and then, but she does have to go see a rheumatologist and get it uh, for her osteoporosis. And then I have to take her to a CT scan for her um, lungs to see if uh, she's going to be getting portable oxygen for the house. Wow. Because now I have to take her everywhere in a wheelchair. Um, so, you know, I think her lungs are getting worse, but. So you're just nursing her back to health then, huh? I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. Yeah. You're doing an amazing job with her for sure. Oh, thanks. We just, it's been a, the last two weeks have been a little doctor's appointments again. So mm -hmm. and I still have more appointments to make, which I ended up getting Gianna yesterday kind of unexpectedly. And so I, again, didn't make her appointments. Oh. So. Yeah, that's about it. Well, I just want to say that September was a shitty ass month for me. Oh, I'm sorry. It was like one of the worst months. Really? Like, just day after day after oh. day of BS. Like all four of us had issues with our cars. Oh no. Um, my husband uh, jumps my son's car, and then all my husband's screen is black. Like he has a Cadillac ATS. Yeah. His whole screen, his radio, everything is black. Like, he can't read how much gas he has, how fast he's going. Well, I heard... Anything. I heard that with these new cars, you're not supposed to jump cars with them. It's a 2018, though. It doesn't matter. Even when I got my 2016, somebody had told me, like, you shouldn't be jumping cars with a car that's with computerized. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I the, don't know if that's well, true. Well, the funny thing is, and it's not so funny, is... So someone told my husband, like, if you disconnect your battery, um, that might, you know, reset everything. Mm -hmm. Well, his battery is in his trunk and he didn't know that. Now there are, and I learned this from watching YouTube while we're trying to troubleshoot where his battery is. Mm -hmm. When he jumped my son's car, our son's car, there are a couple posts in the front <gasps> that, but you I, after watching That's the video, you can use those posts to jump a car, but guess what's right next to it? The computer. All those fuses. Mm. All those fuses right there. Wow. So we, we, the other night after work, we were running around. Um, he had contacted like AutoZone or one of them. And they were like, yeah, just come by and we'll help you. We'll, we'll check out your fuses. We'll, you know, help you. Well, when we went to go do that, no one could help us. Either there weren't enough people on staff or they were too right. busy. And then this one lady was like, 
Well, uh, if your computer's not working, uh, or if your dashboard isn't lighting up, then we can't tell you what, to, you know, how to mm -hmm. help you. And he, you know, it's like, whatever. We're not talking to the right person, Clearly. you know. Um, so I was YouTubing in the parking lot, um, find, trying to find out where, yeah. and I see all these cars with the batteries in their trunk. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, babe, your battery's in your trunk. He's mm -hmm. like, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's right here. It's right here. I'm like, your battery's in your trunk. <laughs> he did not believe me until he went back there, and there's a little compartment in the left, and you yeah. open it, and there's your freaking battery. Oh, interesting. Now, the thing is, is that you are you have to have a certain diamond-shaped piece to mm -hmm. get to whatever he needed to get to, and of course so he, didn't have it. he didn't have it, and so he's hoping to do that later today. Lord. After work, he's working today, but goodness. I'm like it, it and then if it's twice, one thing, it's another. I want to say twice in September. My grand puppy attacked my cats mm -hmm. while I was holding the cat. Mm. So that was good times. No. Twice with two different cats. Yeah. Phineas. Would you like another dog? No. <laughs> That's not good. I wonder why he's, she's doing that. She she is not well behaved at all. She's pretty wild still. That's a problem she with jumps. getting puppies. Is she that jumps. If people don't know what they're doing. Yeah. She's strong. And basically, um, what was happening when that happened was, um, I had, you know, I have a very old cat. Yeah. You know, skinny, old, frail cat. And, you know, my daughter lets the dog out of the room to go outside, but my old cat is in the kitchen, so now... And she's not having her on a leash when she brings no. her out. So now she's kind of going after my cat, who's very old. So I scoop my cat up thinking, okay, I can get her to my bedroom. Yeah. But the dog comes after me. Oh, The hell cat no. freaks out in my arms. I pretty much freaking drop her because... Right. It's chaos, and freaking my cat's claw goes into the dog's mouth, like the cheek, yeah, and gets stuck there. I find out later. It was like a big. It, it was chaos. Oh my it was God. a mess, and you know I'm scared for my old lady cat. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. is she gonna have a heart attack? Is she gonna be able to make it through this? And. I got, you know, very upset, you know, I yeah. was crying and, you know, upset and worried about my cat. And then, you know, my husband comes in, he's like, what are you doing? Uh, starts going off on me. And that makes me even more upset. He's yelling at you? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I don't know. Wow. So that was good. And then the other time just happened two days ago. Look. Oh. Um, I was holding... Mac. Okay, so this was kind of dumb on my part. But the same thing was happening. So I picked up Mac and I was going to take him to the cat tree. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't get there in time. Mm -hmm. And basically the same thing happened again. Oh, this is what happened though. Okay. My husband does not like the cats overall. He tolerates my old lady cat. Mm -hmm. He does not like the two boys. The boys were on the bed when he came home. Mm -hmm. He he gets pissed. Mm -hmm. He's like, how did I know they were in here? Blah, blah, blah. Well, I know Shelby's out in the living room. Mm -hmm. Like, she's out and about and running free. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I could just freaking open the door and let the, do or let the cat out. You right. know what I mean? So this is what I did. I don't know why, but I was like, you know, my husband's yelling at me because the cat's in the room. So I picked the cat up. And my goal was to walk it to the cat tree. And I didn't make it. Shelby was right there. And she just jumped up. And Mac went crazy. And it all happened pretty much all over again. Mm -hmm. You guys need to. So then I told my husband, if you wouldn't have came in and yelled at me like that, I wouldn't have made that stupid <laughs> choice right. to walk him, you know, out there. I, yeah, I could have opened my slider to let him outside, but my slider is so hard to open. Like, it's a struggle. I can't barely open it. Mm -hmm. 
So I told him, if you wouldn't have came in and yelled at me like that, I wouldn't have made that choice. So you need to know that what you do affects what other people do. And, you know. Oh, you guys need to keep Shelby leashed when she's in the house. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, because that's how you yeah. correct her and you teach her what to do. Yeah. Whenever I get a dog, I keep them on a long leash. And anything yeah. I don't like, I correct them. Yeah. And that's how they learn. And when you get a dog, it's not just oh, a week or two and then you're good. That's a puppy, and she needs to be trained for the first couple of years constantly. Yeah, she's It's a not. lot of work. She's not. I know. My my daughter's the same way with her dog. Out of control dog. Out of control, where nobody wants to go over there because the dog is so out of control. Yeah. And it's like, and I've told her, like, you need to get a trainer, or you need to do, you need to train them or do something, because it's, and then I got to watch the damn dog when they're gone for Christmas time, you know? Oh, yeah, because they'll be gone a few days. Or... They're going to be gone like a week, so I'm going to yeah. have to deal with that. But right, that's okay. I'm off work. I'm going to kick his ass the whole time he's here. Yeah. He's going to get, yeah, but it's, you know. It's harder on you because it is gonna that's be so much on more work. I'm not going to be able to relax and enjoy my vacation because I'm going to have this dum-dum here. Right. And the other dogs are going to deal with him too. Which, exactly. You know, they're going to get pissed off. So. I mean, the good thing is once he runs around and he's going to be able to go outside and play and stuff, but, yeah. you know, it's like coming in the house is going to be the issue. I'm going to have to teach him to relax, you yeah. know, and put, probably put him in the crate, you know, which he goes crazy and barks the whole time Oh, because they haven't been consistent with the crate. Yeah. Well, that's one thing is Shelby is crate trained. Um, and they've been, you know, putting her outside a lot lately too. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, to get just her keep used up to with that. the crate because that she yeah. needs to learn like that's her bedroom, and when she's in there, it's time to relax. Yeah, it's not a punishment. No. Yeah. I say that I don't do that with my dogs anymore, but um, I have, you mm -hmm. know, I did, but I just don't, I don't need to, I don't feel I need to in in my environment, you know. Yeah. Because actually, Finn pretty much listens yeah yeah so I, I'm lucky that I was training him when I mm -hmm. first got him oh for sure yeah so that was good times that sucks you know I mean you can't force everybody to get along but you do have to do keep them separate well I think yeah I think what we need to do is um before you let the dog out why don't you see if like, cause Shelby will come in my room and if oh, the, ca no, the cats yeah. are in my room, so now I've been keeping no. my door shut more, which just shuts everybody out, right? you know, which I don't want to do, but no, she needs to keep her on the dog leash will just come out. in yeah. and she can let her off outside, you right. know, but she needs, because she needs to learn. She can't just come running, traipsing through the whole house, yeah. disrupting everyone and causing havoc. That's the dog needs doing. to learn that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a lot of work. I just, it's so hard because dogs need so much work and mm -hmm. training, when, especially when they're puppies. And that's, you know, honestly. And it never ends. It's like child, raising a child. Yeah. Part, I mean, honestly, that's why I haven't gotten a dog. Yeah. Because I'm too lazy. I know what it takes. Mm -hmm. I know you can't let things go. Right. Like with a kid. If right. you let things go, they'll go, oh, well, I can do that then. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you have to get your ass up and do what you got. Like having a kid. Like, yeah. I don't want another kid. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> you know, so why would I want a puppy that I have to, you know, raise? Right. And it, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's mid-November. I mean, mid-October. So now hopefully things will start getting better. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, and and my boss is all into like you know crystals and like um, mercury retrograde and mm -hmm. stuff like that. And she goes, there, you know, there was something going on major. She was like, um, there might be remnants of it, but it's over. And I go, okay, cool. Well, whatever it was, you yeah, know, don't come back. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, communication was horrible. Mm -hmm. My husband and I were not on the same page like we usually are. Uh, it was just, yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know what the hell happened, but, well, yeah. Well, good thing you all missed that, and we weren't <laughs> filming at the time, <laughs> right? Because she probably would have come here crying every week, <laughs> bitching. All right. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thanks for filling us in on all that, yeah. Cal. Didn't you miss me? I did. <laughs> I did. Oh, good times. Good times. Can't wait.
wait to try that Stephanie Harlow coffee. Well, soon. Soon enough, we will okay. have some. Um, uh, registration opened up for the Great Lakes Retreat 2023, and we're in! Woo! We're going! And all our friends are going, everybody yes. got in. Yes. So we are very excited, can't wait. Yeah. Going a day early again, hopefully, and right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, said, and I said yes when I filled out the yeah, paperwork. Yeah, me so. too. Um, yeah, I can't. I, the only thing I'm not looking forward to is the flying, but you know, it is what it is. We can't get around that, so. <laughs> what? You just hate flying or the whole, the whole traveling shenanigans? I mean, if I can, you know, twinkle my twinkle my nose twitch my nose and instantly be there I would but you know the freaking guy I had to sit next to on in that plane and oh and just blah, all of it all of it but hey if that's what I gotta do I'll do it so Kelly's gonna get her own plane <laughs> ticket <laughs> and fly separate why no I want to travel with you <laughs> oh joy oh <laughs> I like traveling. I like flying. I like the whole excitement of it all. You do? So I do. It doesn't bother me at all. I look forward to it. Hmm. So, yeah. Okay. You know me, I would go somewhere first and then go to the retreat from there. But yeah. I learned last time, well, the first retreat we went to, I learned not to do that. Well, with you. That so, was, hey, what do you mean? You're just not one that would love to go. You don't really want to like travel and walk around and like if we're going to be in that area, I would love to go to New York or somewhere else, but that would entail walking. I and loved no walking. Hate. No, I loved walking around Chicago. Did you? It was beautiful. Yeah. You act like I complain like the you whole time. You complained a lot. I did not. <laughs> okay. <gasps> Whatever. All right. Well, yeah, I guess we're not the best traveling companions then. Probably not. If you imagine me complaining when I'm being quiet. Well, let's just say that sh you are not quiet, ma'am. And oh also, New York is so much bigger than Chicago. Oh, I know. That you probably, yeah, I don't know that you would love it. So. Okay. Anyway, but I'm looking forward to it. It's so far away. But... And then you see the Lone Star retreats going on right now, and it just made me aw. Yeah. We have so long to wait till our retreat. Yeah. But anyway, it'll, it'll be here before we know it for sure. So um, it is the season of pumpkins and ghouls, so we are going to do dad jokes that are holiday themed. Yes. Would you like to go first, or would you like um, me to go first? You could go ahead. All right. <laughs> Hold on. Nah. What did I do with my... <laughs> Man, I was prepared, wrote them all down and everything, and now I can't find it. All right, go ahead if you're ready. Never mind, I found it. <laughs> okay. What did Dracula say when the witch and warlock started kissing? I have no idea. Get a broom. Get a broom. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh. All right. Why don't you ever have an unexpected pregnancy when dating a vampire? Why? Because they can't come inside without asking for permission. <laughs> wow. You, <laughs> you really always have to put go there, don't you? Hey, I got to give the people what they want. Is that what they want? Uh. I don't, probably not, but they get, <laughs> hey, most of them probably aren't even, didn't even make it this far after hearing about freaking car problems and freaking cat fights with dogs. And I know they're like, this is my escape. I don't want to hear about your <laughs> shitty life when I have my own shitty life going on. Uh, anyway. Well, all right. That's what they get this okay. episode. Well, thanks for coming back and hanging out with us, everybody. We have the whole holiday theme going on here, which you can't see everything, but we appreciate you being here. All right. Bye, crafters. Bye.